In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice finding the area of composite shapes. In example A, it says to find the area of the figure below, you may assume all sides are perpendicular. Okay, so this is a composite shape because it's really just made up of two different shapes that we know. If we draw a line there, we can see it's made up of two rectangles. So what we can do is find the area of each of these rectangles and then add it up in order to find the area of the full composite shape. So the area of this rectangle would be base times height, which is six times two, so it would be 12 feet squared. For the other rectangle, I need to know both sides. I know that this is three, but it's not clear what this is. I know that the full height is five, so since this part right here is two, because it's two on the other side, and opposite sides of rectangles are congruent, then this part must be three in order to make five total. So two plus three makes the five. So that means this part on the bottom is actually a square, and to find its area, we would just do three times three, so that's nine feet squared. So the total area would be 12 feet squared plus nine feet squared, which is 21 feet squared. All right, in example B, once again, we're looking to find the area. So the first thing you always want to do is break up your shape into other shapes that you actually know how to find the area of. So I noticed that if we draw a line right here and a line right here, we've turned this shape into two triangles and a rectangle. So we can figure out the area of each of those parts separately and then add them up to find the area of the whole shape. So in order to find the area of the rectangle, we need to know base and height. So in this rectangle, the base is given as 25 and the height is given as 15. So the area of the rectangle equals 25 times 15 which is 375 units squared. Now let's try to figure out the area of this rectangle, or sorry, this triangle. So we know that the height of the triangle is five, but we don't know this base right here. So to figure out that base, we're gonna have to use other information from the problem. Because we know that this base is 25, it means this full distance across is 25. We also know this part right here is five, and this part right here is 12. So that means whatever is right here must be the missing piece in order to add up to 25. So basically you wanna do 25 minus 12 minus five to figure out what's missing, and you get eight. So that means the base of that triangle is eight and the height is five. So the area for triangle number one is eight times five, divided by two. So remember the area of a triangle is always base times height divided by two. So that gives us 20 units squared. And last, let's look at our other triangle right here. Again, we know the base is five, but we don't know the height right here, but we can look on the other side to try to help us out. This tells us that the whole height of the rectangle is 15. So this whole height right here is 15. But we also know up until this point is 10 because it says 10 right here. So that means that this other part right here must be five in order to make 15 total. So both the base and the height of that triangle are five each. So their area of triangle number two is five times five, base times height, divided by two which is 12.5 units squared. Therefore, our total area will be the sum of all three of these areas, 375 plus 20 plus 12.5, which is 407.5 units squared.